Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking modern title using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here is I'm just going for a new composition in After Effects, 1920 by 1080 pixels, and I'm going to keep the duration at five seconds. I'm just going to press OK. The next thing that we need to do is we need to import our picture. Once your picture is imported, you can drag it to your timeline. Once we've got that, we then need to come over here and create some text. So I'm just going to right click and put some new text in there. The font that I'm using is Arzo Sans Black and then I'm going to change it to Arzo Sans Regular. And so all you have to do is just change it to the regular version and now you've got a thicker version and a thinner version. You can use any font that you like. The next thing that we need to do is we need to come over here and create a new shape layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and grab the rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle over the writing. And if you want to try and see how much space you have, you can lower the opacity by pressing T on your keyboard just to see where everything is. The next thing that we need to do is you need to hold control and double click the pen behind our tool and make sure that you go to your align settings and make sure that that shape layer is in the middle of your composition need to do the same with the text. Hold control, double click to move the anchor point to the middle and then align it to the composition. So it makes sure that that's in the center of your document. Then we can bring the opacity back up to 100. So now we've got that, we need to open up the shape layer, open up the contents, open up the rectangle, open up the rectangle path and we need to look at the size. Now to make this easier, I'm just going to round up to the closest, you know, 10 kind of values. So I'm just going to make sure that this one is 800 and 290. Now these numbers are very important because we'll start the animation now. So what we need to do is we need to on the rectangle path, we need to animate the position. So I'm just going to click on the stopwatch there for the position and I'm going to move forward to 20 frames and then I'm going to put this number in here. So this is going to be 800. And so now we've created very simple animation. And so what we need to do is we need to go to the end of the composition and then I'm just going to hold shift and press page up twice and that's going to move forward in time or backwards in time 20 frames. And then I'm just going to click on this button over here to create another keyframe at 800. Then I'm going to move it to the end and I'm going to put that back down to zero. So now we have this simple animation that goes from left to right. The next thing that we need to do is we need to duplicate that rectangle path. So I'm pressing control D to duplicate and then I'm going to press U to bring up my uh, keyframes. And so what we need to do is we need to reverse these keyframes. So the first one is going to be negative 800 and then it's going to go to 20 frames and then it's going to go to zero and we're going to do the same on the other side. This one is going to be zero and then the last frame is going to be negative 800. And cool. So still nothing much is really happening there. So what we need to do is we need to open up the shape layer again. We need to go to add and then we need to go to merge paths. And then inside of merge pass, what we need to do is we need to change the mode to intersect. So now once we've changed the mode to intersect, you will see everything has been moved away. And so what we need to do now is I'm just going to press U on my keyboard just to pull up the keyframes here. And what we need to do is we need to offset these keyframes. So I'm just going to move forward 10 frames and I'm going to make that start from about 10 frames and I'm going to do the same for the other side. But for the other side, I'm just going to go to the end, hold shift and press page up and then move to that point there. So now we've offset those first two um, position keyframes and you can see what, what's actually happening there. The intersect is anything that's in, in between is coming up here and everything else is getting cut. 
So now that's looking pretty good. We can add some easy ease to this, um, to these keyframes. So right click and go to easy ease. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the top row of the keyframes. And then I'm going to go into my graph editor and I'm just going to highlight both of these sides and I'm going to bring them so they're a bit closer into the middle. And then I'm going to do the same for the other side. So we have a peak in the middle and that will just give a little bit of animation or a little bit of spice to our animation. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing again for the bottom keyframe. So highlight both sides, bring them closer to the middle and then highlight the other sides and then bring them also closer to the middle. So now we have a nice little box that kind of accelerates up and then it accelerates back down. And that's looking pretty cool at the moment. So the next thing that we need to do is we just need to rename our layers. So I'm just going to call this one, let's say text. We're going to call our shape layer. We're going to call it shape uh, main. And then we are going to duplicate that by pressing control D. And then we're going to call this one mat. And then we're going to duplicate the text layer as well. And we are going to call that text mat. And so what we need to do is we need to move the text mat to the top. Make sure that your original text layer is right at the bottom. So now once we've organized all of our files over here, we just have to make sure that we move the shape main underneath the text mat over there. And so once we've done that, then what we can do is we can come over here and you can toggle switches until you see the track map. You want to make sure that on shape main, you uh, change it to alpha inverted and make sure that on the text uh, layer as well, you change that to alpha inverted. And so now you can see what is actually happening here. But now what we want to do is we want to get rid of the text um, before the animation plays. So what we need to do is we can come here and open up our contents for our rectangle. We can delete the rectangle path two, and we can also delete the merged paths as well. And so now the text will be revealed as the animation is going. So there's our quick little tutorial on how to create these modern titles. The last thing that we can do is we can just add a scale kind of zoom to the background. So all I'm going to do is press S on my keyboard for scale, hit the stopwatch at 110, and then I'm going to move uh, forward in time to the end and I'm going to bring that back down to 100. And so now if you've got that, there you've got a little bit of movement in the background. Now what's cool with this is you can take this even further and you can um, right click and pre-compose all of this. And let's say for example, if you wanted to make it smaller or anything like that, or if you wanted to put it into the bottom corner as a lower third, you can also do that. So there we have it. That's a very quick and simple tutorial on how to create a clean modern title. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.